hello everyone you're welcome back uh, today this evening on the maintenance engineer DIY quick cap we're going to discuss about uh, the safety relays these PO safety relays are a very a standard in in the industrial automation and in the industrial in the industrial process of uh, in the EU and uh, in the UK. So here we have the the PO's PZE X4. It's um uh, what it does is that it monitors the the e stops, the emergency stops. It monitors also the the um, monitors the e stops and it makes it make it monitors the, the safety safety switches to make sure that the process is safe and so that when you interrupt uh, when you push an emergency stop because there's a danger the whole system will stop so this this is what this this uh, this safety relay does and also uh, this is another one it's a bigger one it has more contacts this one is a uh, the Pinos X3, and uh, the Pinos X3, and uh, this one is a uh, is a PZE X4. The only difference is that this one has more contacts, and this one has uh, less contacts than this. So this can do more than this. But they are both the same two channels. One channel is for monitoring the e stops, and the second channel is to monitor the redundancy. Make sure that the contacts are not sealed, and so it's always watching the, con the redundancy of the contacts that are wired to it. So they have the same function, but this one has a it's, it's less capable than this. And uh, we, if we when we when we are working in an industry, in a heavy engineering industry such as um, a plant where they manufacture water where they manufacture food industry or automotive industry where they manufacture car parts and all that yeah, we have conveyors these conveyors they run on electrical motors and uh, we have we have to have a way because these are these parts are moving parts they always they are like this the the moving parts and people are at the risk of getting trapped and then we have to be able to stop these machines in a blink of an eye so that's what this machine this uh device that's what it does it stops your machines in the blink of an eye so that it, it minimizes the damage the damage to the to the process and also minimizes uh danger to your to your personnel so it's uh it's a standard it's a standard here in europe and uh and in the uk so even if your system is wired is uh even if your system is because you can use a PLC, a programmable logic control, to control the system, to control the emergency stops. But this, you must still have to do a hard wiring. I mean, wire it, wire the these things here, wire, wire, wire the process so that uh, because the electrical, the the program can might fail. So, but this will not fail you know, because it's monitoring the contact. It's making sure always that the contacts are. Uh, able to to open and close and also it's it's also always alert waiting for you to push an emergency stop or break a barrier so that it's gonna put break break a protective barrier so that it will it will stop the whole process so it's it's very very good for uh, avoiding the entrapment uh, due to moving parts and also limiting access access to a particular part of the plant that you do not want people to go. You can connect um, a light curtain that once you go, some, once somebody goes through this, the light curtain will, uh, uh, a sensor from the light curtain will tell the, tell the safety relay somebody has interrupted and it, cannot, it, 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 it switches off the whole thing until you have to consciously go and reset the system before it starts again. And also, the, yeah, like I said before, the emergency stop helps to avoid uh, accidents and it helps to interrupt the process immediately. And uh, it has a lot of literature. This, this project, this, uh, you can download a lot of literature on this PO's 
PO Safety Relay has a lot of literature online. So in, in the literature, you can get uh, like the basic basic function, basic wiring of it on the on, uh, on the on the internet. I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave a link below where you can download the the manuals where you can uh, manual which you can use to program it and to and to configure it. So basically, I have designed a, I have designed a, um, electrical diagram of, of a project that I intend to do in the next few days. So this is this is what what this safety relay pro, safety relay this is the safety relay um, diagram. How, this is how it's going to work on this project. So as you can see here, I have the e stop here. This is going to be the, the, the secret that, that protects the, the system. I have the e-stop here. I have, a, I have um, a safety switch here. I have another safety switch here. I had another safety switch here. And an e-stop here and an e-stop here. So once any of this is interrupted, it tells my system to stop. And then I'll have to reset it. This is the reset system. So when I reset it, it will tell it to, I'm ready to start running again. And this is the, the diagram for the reset system of the, the, uh, this is the, the wiring that I'm, I'm, I'm going to do. And uh, this is the output. Because when you're wiring it, first of all, you have to uh, wire the power supply. The power supply, uh, this, you can, it uses uh, both, both uh, direct current and, and alternate current. So you can use DC for it and you can use uh, AC, AC voltage as well. And then this light is to say that it's stripped because some, it's some, it's some, uh, something has, uh, has been, I mean, it helps, it helps to, to simplify the fault finding effort, you know. So that's why this light is there to tell you that uh, the machine is not running because this, 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 this has happened. So this is uh, a, main, a mains contactor. A mains contactor, what it does is that cuts off cuts off uh, flow of voltage, flow of uh, power to the system, and then everything stops. So I'm going to demonstrate this, and then, in the, and then later I am going to show step by step how this is wired in another video. But first of all, let me demonstrate it with uh, a, a, a little project that I've mounted here. Just bear with me. Uh, so as you can see here, we have the PINOS O3, uh, PINO X3 here, which is uh, monitoring the system. We have an electric motor, which we are going to suppose that this is going to be a conveyor, a motor that is running a conveyor. We just imagine that this is running a conveyor, this electrical motor. And this is an inverter, uh, um, a frequency inverter. What it does is that it controls the motor. It can uh, use this frequency. Uh, this runs on 50 hertz. This one, the, the motor runs on 50 hertz or 60 hertz in America. And in America, uh, in, in America, it's 60 hertz. But in the UK and in the EU, it's 50 hertz. So this would would control the, the frequency. It would dosify, It would convert the, the the hertz to to convert this frequency into speed. So when it's running on on uh, 50 hertz, it's running on full speed of the motor. Right now, I programmed it to run on 40 hertz. But it's not active yet because what I want to demonstrate is what the PNOS does. When it's on, when the two channels are on, it means that everything is everything is safe, that you can run the system. So I can actually run the motor and tell it to start. I'll use the bob to run it. So, so when you run it, the motor goes, and then you see it's on 40 hertz. It's climbed to 40 hertz. That's why it's on. It's not. It's on 80 percent speed now. And then, and then if eventually there's a problem and someone pushes the emergency stop, this should be the emergency stop. Okay. That light says there's an emergency, and then you cannot start the system anymore because it has interrupted the whole system, thereby keeping everyone safe. You know. So. Except if you try to reset it, it's not going to reset. Except you remove the emergency, you remove the emergency cons uh, consciously. Tell it I've removed the emergency, and then you can be able to reset the system, like I showed you here. 
to be able to, this is where you reset the system. You reset the system with the reset button. And then this is what we've just done now. And then you can be able to run the system again. You know, it's, you, you run the system again. And it goes on until if there's a safety issue, someone interrupts it again by uh, maybe interrupting a safety, a safety switch or by pushing an emergency stop. The channels are out. So when you want to do a, a electrical diagnosis, you have to look at the channels. If the channels are not there, if the, chan if the lights of the channels are not complete, then you know that there's a problem. And then that's what you have to sort out. So I hope that this has been able to explain a little bit about uh, what the the safety uh, safety relay the safety relay does and the importance of having safety relays in our industrial process in our in our small factories and in our big factories it's really very 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 important to to watch out for the safety of everyone that works in the in the in the pro in the in the industry to minimize uh, accident and that so Thank you once again and see you on the next one.